Hi guys and welcome back yet again. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm going to show you how to make a Cantaritos. So the Cantaritos is a tequila based cocktail. We're using a Reposado. I found this one on Difford's Guide and I'm using a clay pot to serve it in. So traditionally or apparently back in the day they, um, because it was so hot outside, or well they may still do this, I don't know, um, they would submerge the, the clay pot under cold water to actually chill the pot and therefore keep the drink a little bit colder as you sip on it. So this one um, calls for your preferred tequila. So I'm using La Dolce, La Dolce Vida, um, which is an organic tequila. And I'm gonna measure out 60 mil, two ounces. And the recipe does call for uh, building this in the glass, but I'm just gonna combine it in here and give it a real short shake and then straighten over the top. Then we've got uh, freshly pressed or freshly squeezed orange juice. 60 ml, two ounces. And ruby red grapefruit juice. Let's give it a little bit of a stir. 30 ml, one ounce. And three quarters of an ounce. 22.5 ml of fresh lime juice. So I'm obviously not gonna shake the uh, grapefruit soda that's gonna be going into the cocktail as well. So I'll add ice to my cocktail shaker, give it a quick shake, and then strain it into the cup. Just real short shake, combine the ingredients, and this is a warm grapefruit soda, so hopefully it doesn't spray on me. Just a small dash, and I'm just gonna dump the ingredients straight into that pot, and top it up with a little bit more ice. And then garnish with some citrus, I've got a grapefruit wedge, and a lime wedge. They have a Cantaritos. Cheers. Get a big kick of that tequila. Um, I am using fresh orange juice, so therefore it doesn't have the um, added sweetness that a lot of like cartons of orange juice come with. There's not really a lot of sugar in here. There's a lot of uh, sour and bitter components. So obviously um, the acidity from the fresh orange, the grapefruit and the lime juice there's not a lot of uh, sugar in this grapefruit soda. So if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of agave syrup. Actually, I was meant to put a little bit of salt in the drink itself, um, but considering this drink was meant to be built and then the salt was added on top anyway, it's not gonna differ too much. Just a small pinch of salt. And I'll give it another taste. This is kind of uh, Paloma-esque, this cocktail. A little bit better with the pinch of salt but I do recommend perhaps a little bit of sugar from the agave. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell button and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.